Earlier in the semester, we discussed many ways to make selections, like the rectangular marquee, lasso, magic wand, and quick selection, etc. But at the time, we didn't discuss all available options. Selections can also be made from paths, which, as we are learning in this lesson, can be made from shape tools and pen tools. Using the pen tool to make a selection may be a quicker way to launch a selection if the pen tool is able to make the selection in a quicker or more precise way than any other selection tools available in Photoshop. So, to make a selection from a path, follow these three steps. First, use a shape or pen tool to make a path. Second, via the options bar, choose path from the pick tool mode drop-down. And last, choose selection from the make options on the options bar. A major benefit of creating a selection using the pen tool is the ability to manipulate the anchor points and directional lines to modify the selection until it is perfect. In this example, we made a really quick path using the freeform pen tool. It didn't do the best job of selecting just the ice cream cone, but all the anchor points you see in the first example can be edited using the direct selection tool to make the path more accurate. Once the path is perfect, it can be loaded as a selection. You can even add feathering to the selection as it is processed. The Properties panel changes depending on what you are trying to modify. When modifying custom paths and shapes, it will look similar to the screenshot below. The example on the left shows the options available when the Select the Layer Mask button is active. The example on the right shows the Select the Vector Mask option. The Layer Mask is used just like any other layer mask we've used in the semester. In the example provided, we've added stripes to the cat by painting with gray on the layer mask, allowing some of the original beige color to, to be removed. If you look closely, you can see this area of the layer mask on the shape six layer painted with gray. Feather is an option available when editing via the select the vector mask options. It allows the edge of the shape to be softened. The properties panel changes depending on what you are trying to modify. This is even true with different types of vector art. The example on the previous slide was, a, was of a custom shape and allowed for minimal modification of density and feathering, but the example on this slide of a rectangle shape allows for many more editing options including width and height, X and Y coordinate positioning, fill color, stroke color, stroke weight, which is the thickness of the, of, of the stroke, stroke type, which can be dashed or dotted, stroke alignment, is it on the inside or the outside or even centered on the path? the cap and joint settings, the corner radius, so if you wanted to round the corners of your shape, and the pathfinder options, including combine, subtract front, intersect, exclude, overlapping, etc. So what does this mean? It means you should always check out the properties panel to see what's possible. It changes, so it'll be different for all the various things you can do in Photoshop, and this doesn't just apply to shapes.